Sad, isn't it? Shadow of its former self. All ripped to pieces, ready for scrap. There's the cables. There wasn't much difference of this van than a regular van. Slightly modified piece of the Volkswagen exhaust I'm saving. Shifter cables. Four cylinder throttle cable. Cold start lawnmower cable. VW speedometer cable. Random cattage. Yeah. Chrysler clutch cable. And everybody seems to ask me how do you make a Chrysler vehicle into a standard with a clutch pedal? Well that's totally easy. This long rod just unbolts on one end and you just pull it out. If you have an automatic car the rod is three inches shorter like that piece doesn't exist. So all you do is unbolt it, slip a longer rod in, and then shove a clutch pedal on. It couldn't be simpler. And the shock towers on Chrysler vehicles have little plastic plugs covering up the holes where the clutch cable bracket mounts to. So they're already pre-drilled. And since that one has electronic speedometer, I saved the old instrument cluster and I'll have to pull the speedometer out and somehow weasel it into that instrument cluster. I'm draining the fuel now. Got one bottle filled and the second one on its way. Unfortunately this fan decided to break its power steering pump bolts when I just filled the tank. Oh well. And how do you fit a diesel nozzle in a gas vehicle? Well in this Chrysler vehicle it's all plastic in there so I just smashed it out. The big chunks of plastic fell in the tank but they're too big to get sucked up so who the hell cares? I'll have to do the next thing to the other van. The gas tanks on Chrysler vehicles have one extra tube coming out of the top of them and it's just got a rubber cap on the end and goes nowhere. It's corked or plugged. Well that's your fuel drain tube in case you have to remove your gas tank. You just start sucking on it, add a hose and it starts siphoning itself out. So that's what I'm doing now. But when you're running your vehicle on a diesel conversion you don't need the fuel pump in the tank. They suck their own fuel through the injector pump and so that extra tube used for draining the tank is hooked up to my input fuel line to my engine. Right now it's draining my vehicle. This is the shifter mechanism. It just bolts to the floor. If that thing doesn't have pre-welded on studs to bolt this thing to, I'm just going to MIG weld it to the floor.